Hi guys, it's Kelly Latavola here. I'm back with another video for Waffle Flower. Today I'm going to be using Sunflower Love, the combo, so the stamps and dies, and then also Simply Said One stamps and dies as well. So I'm working on Nina 80 pound solar white cardstock. I'm gonna go ahead and stamp out my image. As you can see, it's already stained because Peanut got to it before I did. So before I even got to play with my new stamps, he was already using them but I cannot judge him too harshly because he made me a card with it and um, I was very happy about that because it was a total surprise. Uh, so I'm just going to stamp that out. I'm using Copic Safe Ink because I'm going to be coloring with my Copic markers. I'm also going to be using the, um, the Simply Said has some like decorative uh, squares in it and one of them matches the, um, the square in that particular flower bouquet, flower design, flower spray, whatever you want to call it, um, perfectly. So I stamped that out as well, and then I'm going to use the matching die to die cut that out. Um, and then from there, I'm just going to kind of set it aside. Don't mind my head there. Um, and then work on the background. I feel like I've been doing everything blue lately. I would apologize for it if blue wasn't so gorgeous and amazing, um, but because my um, flowers, my sunflowers were going to be yellow goldish color. Uh, I thought blue would be a really good background for that. Now the complementary color to yellow is purple, but I just could not commit to making that kind of purple background. I just don't love purple enough. I don't. So I'm doing kind of a gradient here, um, starting with Salty Ocean and then fading that off as it comes up uh, towards the top of the card and then going through to the uh, blueprint sketch, chip sapphire, and black soot, just like I usually do when I'm doing like a night sky. Um, I just love them together. I love blue. I, I, I love it and I cannot deny it and I am not ashamed. Um, so, but I am going to switch it up just a little bit so you guys know that I do this twice. Um, I go from lightest to darkest, darkest to lightest. And so I, on my way back through for the second time blending them out, I just am going to speed up the ink blending a little bit. So we're all not sitting here for 800 hours watching the same ink blending. But I did want you to see how it changes when you add that second layer in case this is the first time you're watching one of my videos. You may be new here and this may be the first thing that you ever see. And then how will you know that I always do it this way? Right? Right. So for the top of it, the Salty Ocean, I'm going to do it um, pretty heavily saturated where it's blending into the Blueprint Sketch, but I'm still trying to leave the edges, or the very top edge, light. In a switch of things, I am going to do my usual spattering of the clear uh, water, just the clean water on there to kind of break up that background. But instead of using Perfect Pearls in the color Perfect Pearls, I'm going to use Perfect Pearls in the color gold. I know, I'm switching it up and you don't even know what's happening here. That's not entirely true. I have used gold before. I thought it would be very, very pretty in the background. And I was totally right. So big pat on the back for me. Um, I was also too lazy to get out a bigger paintbrush to get the water. So don't mind while I dip in the the clean water like 16 different times to make sure I have enough liquid to spatter <laughs> this about. Um, I just thought it would be pretty because the flowers are going to be that yellow gold color and it would be nice to have this as an accent in the background. I didn't have a lot of large splatters um, so just here and there I'm kind of creating my own. For this one again it's sped up. Um, this is going to be the piece that my sentiment sits on and I'm doing the same colors but instead of doing it up and down I'm actually doing it left to right so the highlight is in the middle. Um, the, the highlight's going to be that salty ocean and I don't know what happened with my camera there. My apologies. So anywho, um, lots going on in my life. I have been keeping a very big secret from you all. Um, I was waiting for the right time to announce it. No, I am not engaged. No, I am not pregnant. Let's just be clear there. However, we did buy a house. So... Um, that is super exciting. We're gonna, okay, see now I've dropped the bomb on you and now I gotta switch back to the card because you know how we roll. So here I have picked the, the golden colors that I want my sunflower to be. I'm gonna go ahead and fill the entire thing in with the Y02. Um, 
because I'm not going to have a white highlight at all. I'm just going to fill it in solid with the YO2. And then I am going to go in and add the shading on the base of the petals and on the tips of the petals. This is going to give it a more round appearance so that it looks like the flowers are blooming out from the center. Um, anytime two objects meet shadows, anytime one object lays on top of another shadows. Sunflowers are great to practice that particular uh, theory because there are tons of petals that are curling and laying on top of each other and they're very layered flowers. Um, here the illustrator has given you kind of a idea of where the shading should go with those little lines. So if you're not sure, just follow those little lines and you should be good to go. If you're a little bit more confident in your shading abilities, please feel free to add it where you think it would be necessary. There are places where I added shading that there are not little lines, um, like that one petal in the center that's curled over. The underneath of it is going to be substantially darker than the top of it. So that's going to get filled in completely, or well, almost completely with the, the darkest color. Uh, there are no shading lines there, but I know from looking at it, if one object's on top of another, then there should be shading. So, okay, back to the house business. Um, it's been crazy. So when I got married, um, my ex-husband already owned our home. So I didn't really have to go through that whole process. Um, the it, it was just done, you know what I mean? And then when we refinanced, like we just went into the bank and signed the paperwork and it was, there was no hoopla about it. So we have been looking, um, we've been looking for quite some time knowing that I wasn't gonna be in Kelly's Critter Cottage forever with all of the bugs. Um, we were just waiting for, you know, finances to, to be what they needed to be. Um, and so we had been looking a little bit. So then we had agreed um, that we were not going to look for, we were gonna stop um, looking back. We stopped looking back in September, we stopped. Um, and then we said we weren't, we weren't going to look until after we were going to make it through the holidays, like make it through the holidays in the Critter Cottage. Um, well, I'm in the Critter Cottage, he's in his apartment. Um, and then we were going to pick up after the holidays and, and see what we could find. The, we agreed the only time we would go look at anything is if something came up that was perfect, that met all of our requirements. So fenced in yard, he wanted a master bath, I wanted an attached garage, um, counter space in the kitchen. Uh, like w there was just, there was all these requirements that we have as, as anybody has when they're looking for a home. So we agreed unless it was absolute perfection, we would not go look at it. Decided we were, we were going to stop. Um, so then at the end of October, middle of October, end of October um we I, our our realtor is actually one of the guys that we works with wife um because we could trust her and we knew her and I've been we've been friends with them for years um so I saw this house that came up and it was it had everything that we wanted and then some um it had a beautiful yard it came with a um, play area um, for peanut, like with the, you know, like the clubhouse and the swings and the rock climbing wall. And that was all included. And it was four bedrooms and had a fenced in yard. The kitchen is amazing. Oh my goodness. The kitchen is amazing. Um, and had a master bath and a uh, full basement. And so there was like, just all, it was like all of these things that were like, bam, bam, bam. This is awesome. And then we were also looking for a house that was kind of finished. Um, we weren't looking to have to do really a ton of work ourselves. This one was. The people who lived there did amazing, amazing work with the hardwood floors and countertops and the painting. And in fact, like in the description, it said like Pinterest inspired. Um, so she was clearly an, an amazing decorator. It was very, um, how, how do they describe it? F distressed farmhouse, um, which isn't necessarily my style, but it is, I can acknowledge it for what it is. It's, it's beautiful. Um, and so I was like, okay, oh wait, now we have to go back to the card. 
So here I wanted just a little bit of color variation in my petals because sunflower petals are not always all, you know, yellow. There's some oranges, there's um, some maroon, some corals, some things like that. So I'm just going in with an R32 and just periodically, you know, random petals here and there, adding a little bit or filling the whole thing in just to get that color variation and to make the flowers just a little bit more interesting. Moving on to the leaves, I will be adding the majority of the shading to the center of the leaves and leaving my highlight on the edge. Okay, back to the house. Um, and so it was, it was crazy. And so we went and looked at the house and, um, it fell in love with it. I mean, totally fell in love with it. And we were like, you know, it's a lot of money. It's a big commitment. It's all, you know, all of these things that a house is. Um, and so we kind of went back and forth on it. And then um, we scheduled another viewing. So, because I really, very, it was very important um, to us that Peanut feel like he had a say. Because he has, there's been so many changes in his life that have just been put upon him um, by our, you know, us getting divorced and um, having to move and, and schools and, and all of these things. So there's just been so many things that have been put upon him and he's been such a trooper and I just, you know, really talking about it, it was very important to have him be part of the process. And so one of the things that is funny about this particular house is um, it's actually in the development that I grew up in. Uh, so my parents are on one side and you know how I joked for years that like we all live in a commune? Well, now for real, y'all, I'm like 30 seconds down the road from my mama, um, which is great because then, you know, we can help out them more, help out with Graham more. Um, so I had, when I sent him the house, I jokingly said to him, you know, and the added bonus is my mama's right down the street. And he was like, so does that mean I get little chickens and Chinese as much as I want? Like, is that what's going to happen here? Um, which probably is exactly what's going to happen here. Um, thanks mom. I'll probably only have to cook like once a week. Um, but anyway, so the second time we went, my mom went with us, uh, and we, we took Nathan back to the card. Um, so here I don't want this white outline. I want it to, to be faded into the background. And so typically eyeballing it, I can kind of pick out the Copic color that I think it's going to be. Um, for most of them, I was able to eyeball it with no issues. Um, I started after the B04, I went to a B24, which when it was wet matched perfectly, but as it dried, it was a little bit too light. So then I switched to a B26. If you are doing this particular technique to try to mask that white outline, um, don't feel like you can't go back in there, uh, and do, you know what I mean? And, and put another color over it because you totally can. If at first you don't succeed, dust yourself off and try again. Um, so anyway, we went and looked at it the second time, you know, still loved it. Peanut loved it. Um, he was like, if, you know, if we, you know, buy this house, I want this bedroom and, you know, all that stuff. Um, so then after some discussion back and forth, uh, you know, and talking to Peanut, you know, I had asked him if you could, you know, if you could have any kind of house, what kind of house would you want? And he was like the house we went and looked at. Um, so that pretty much, you know, that pretty much sealed the deal. <laughs> um, so we put in, we put in an offer and um, the, I did not know this was a thing. Apparently it is a thing where you can put in an offer with an escalator. So basically it gives your realtor the opportunity to escalate the encounter offering escalate the price up to whatever you set it to so that is that's what we did um so we made the initial offer and it ended up being just like a couple I think it was like three thousand dollars more than what we initially offered um but so they did accept the offer and um so I am trying to get done a bunch of videos so that the channel doesn't go just like you know completely stale and I will share with you all about the packing and moving and and all of those things um but that is my that's my big news for right now is that I'm finally going to be out of the spider house um and into the new house um just after Thanksgiving so yeah super excited um 
on, you know, like Pinterest and checking things out and trying to even remember what I had because I moved from a bigger house to a smaller house. Um, and so a lot of my things are still packed, um, you know, like home decor wise, like there was just not enough room. So I just left them packed in boxes. So I don't even remember what I have. I'm going to have to go through it, but at least moving those boxes will be simple. Uh, it's just, you know, the rest of my life, I'm going to have to pack up and move. Um, so for the sentiment, I decided that I was going to use some navy blue cardstock and heat, um, my sentiment, heat set it in white on top of there, and then, um, cut it out with the, the dies. I think this font is super, super pretty. Um, I like how scripty it is and that it's kind of, you know, something a little bit different. Um, it reminds me very much of, I don't know, like a more elegant style of writing, and so I told you about my friend uh, Lisa the other day, and so I'm going to send this card to her. Um, she's still she's still struggling um, with with her situation, and so you just keep her on that prayer list, y'all. I appreciate it. Um, so here, I you saw me color in that uh, square blue. The reason I did is because I'm going to pop up. Um, the other piece on foam, and just in case you can see it from the side, I still want it to be blue underneath there. So I'm just going to glue my flowers down flat and then add that foam tape to um, to the back of this square box, rectangle. It's not a square, Kelly. Learn your shapes. Go back to kindergarten. Um, and then just pop that over top of it. Now with the um, sentiment, with it being navy, you still will see some of those edges, but I actually think it looks kind of cool um, because it helps the white kind of pop off from the background. These are going to just get glued down flat, but you will see when I do that. Um, I wasn't really paying attention to the G's, so send ing hugs, uh, you know, a lot of G's in there. Um, and so when I glued the hugs down, which would totally be an appropriate sentiment on its own, just like this, super cute. Um, but so when I went to go glue this part down, I didn't pay attention to the fact that the G would run into my S. So when I started putting it down, I kind of had to finagle a little bit. It seemed to be the best fit if I just let it hang off the right hand side. Uh, and so that is what I did. I'm going to add some glitter to these flowers because as much as I love blue, I also love the glitter. Currently considering putting a glitter wall in my craft room, haven't committed to it yet but it's on the table for consideration. But anyway, so this is the whole card. Thank you guys so much for joining me and I will catch you in the next video. Bye.